Hip hop music is one of the biggest voices that black people in America have to defend themselves, to promote themselves, to financially support themselves. And when you think about a genre of music that is so popular around the world, everyone imitates it from the Caribbean to um, Latin America, to Europe, to Asia, um, you will find black American influence everywhere, right? And when you think about the genre of music being colonized, not only by white people, rich white people who own the labels, who only allow them to promote violence, anti-blackness, blackness, self-hate. Um, artists like Kendrick Lamar are so far and few in between that they are so necessary for the culture. And when you, there are plenty of Kendrick Lamars that we've never heard of because of the way the system is designed to only promote negativity and negative stereotypes about black people to reinforce the stereo, stereotype threat towards black people, not just in America and worldwide. Therefore, keeping black people always oppressed and in, in, in negative, um, having negative views about not themselves. Not only do we as black people have negative views about ourselves, we also have negative views about, um, other people have negative views about us, right? We have black people outside of America who do not live this reality of every day dealing with BS and literally going to work and dealing with um, macro aggression, literally walking down the street and being, you know, looked at wrongly, going to a store and being self-conscious that, you know, they're probably watching you, you know, things like that. And when, you have that and you have black people outside of America who never experienced it. This reality, some people might be aware of it, they don't even understand the depth of it. So they associate it with black Americans specifically. So then the whole world actually looks down on black Americans and demonize quote unquote black Americans specifically and regarding them as violent thieves and all things bad, which again, dictates the way the world at large treat black Americans. So when you have the genre of music that could positively possibly be used for something positive and change the current status quo. I don't think people understand just how powerful music is and how much a Kendrick Lamar could do if he didn't have to battle so many different forms of evil, including the Drakes of the world who come in, colonize the world, make fun of people who make music to up uplift black people and tell them you're something, you're worthy, you're knowledgeable, you're actually a rich not only in spirit, but physically, mentally, emotionally, you have all the gifts within you to change your situation, change your outcome. You have a drink making fun of Kendrick saying something like, you know, you're trying to, free, to rap like you're trying to free the slaves. It just shows you how disconnected and tone deaf that he is. And he but also when you think about the fact that Drake has a majority white audience just because of the fact that most of America, America um, is the main place that consumes his music and Canada also, they're white countries. So just by population, naturally, um, you have a majority white audience um, saying the N word, and not just, you know, saying that in order, but saying it with a hard ER, you know what I mean? Because it's so unnatural to you. And, you know, when they call you out for it, you come back and double down on it. And you know your audience is going to be reciting those lyrics and going to say it with all their might. Um, it becomes a problem, a social issue to a much bigger magnitude. And again, um, I don't take it lightly that what Rick Ross calling him white boy, and I think it's a perfect, um, a lot of people might miss it just because the one is the messenger that's putting out that information and also like, okay, whatever, white boy. But when Kendrick Lamar said, you're Malibu's most wanted, which is a movie about um, a white guy that comes from uh, an affluent community pretending to be black. But it's funny to me that all these people, white people that want to dominate um, black music, and it is black music because the reality of America is that even the music is segregated. You have white music and you have black music. That's the reality of it. Where I come from, that doesn't exist. We have multiple genres of music. I listen to all kinds of music, but we don't have that straight line. You know, this is music is associated with this group of people. Like, for example, Beyonce doing country music is a problem. So we have someone who comes from an affluent community um, pretending to be the most negative parts, represent the most negative parts of a culture, of a group that's always been stigmatized, that's always been marginalized, that's still always been typecast and um, stereotyped. And it literally still impacts people on an everyday basis. I personally, although I'm not quote unquote, I'm not black American, I do have a background in psychology and I have studied these, these things. And more importantly, I live in American culture. Again, not most people that do live in American culture, black, white, and different, 
um, they are still not deeply aware, consciously aware of what is happening. They have a surface level idea, but when it comes on a day to day basis, they don't understand it. But me personally, I've experienced all those negative stereotypes being called the N word. I remember when I was in um, middle school, I came here in middle school. That, you know, I never, to me, the N word doesn't, didn't mean anything until someone tried to use it against me, right? So I've had negative experiences at work, I've had negative experiences at school, I've had negative experiences with the police, and it's strictly based on my skin tone and when you have a Drake who knows that he can perpetuate all these negative stereotypes that do not apply to him really because of his fair complexion and he leans into it knowing that he can play the role and still get away unscathed um, makes that even more dangerous again when you have people who are literally the Sandra Blands the Joy, George Floyd the Ahmad's and so in all of these people who are literally killed by the police and it's directly linked to their skin color you have someone who has a different type of skin color that is not usually associated I'm not saying that he wouldn't be seen as black by the black the people in America but outside of the world he can travel anywhere and still feel feel safe a lot of black people can't even go places you know travel without feeling unsafe especially black women um, when we go to there's a lot of stories about negative experiences in places specifically like Italy and Spain um, how terribly that you're often disregarded people don't come to your aid if even if you're being assaulted and it's again the worst thing that you can have in a culture where the biggest voice that represents the culture that can actually change the culture for the better is colonized by these people who have hired um, their version of Christopher Columbus to go around and colonize and bring it back to them now they own it they own a lot of people's masters they own a lot of people's music but they encourage anti-violence in the music so much and it doesn't stay in the music right it oftentimes falls into the real lives of people so many young black people have been killed and i can tell you again i'm haitian a lot of quote-unquote gangsters you know wannabe gangsters have watched this kind of music have modeled after this behavior where they're literally slaughtering innocent people um in the street children um shooting up schools shouldn't you know and it's just there are real life consequences for these things that happen on a daily basis that Drake doesn't deal with and doesn't care that he doesn't deal with it and actually takes advantage of that. As I mentioned, a lot of people were mentioned in that song, but the only person that responded was Drake because he has an imposter syndrome. Deep down, he knows that he does not belong. He's not from the community. He doesn't look like most people. Um, I'm not saying that there aren't, aren't light-skinned black people with that type of head texture, but for the most part, Drake himself knows he's playing the character. He's in a role. So the only reason why he felt that he's even come and so adamantly defend himself and kill that noise, you know, I'm not even gonna let him play with me because first of all, he looks down on black people. He's just some little N-word in his mind. First of all, I'm not gonna let that little one, that little black person, you know, come for me and my character. And so I want to kill that noise before it gets any bigger and it really did backfire on him. Even the people that he would pass on his legacy to, he would not, he doesn't know anything about black culture to teach them to carry on a torch that would continue to uplift and solidify um, black people's place within American culture. And you have a Canadian man who has come to America, Canadian biracial man raised by a white Jewish mother who has come to America and has taken the biggest voice of black American culture and says, I'm the representative. I'm the representative for for these people and I am what these type of people look like and it's all the terrible things that he adopts and it's all the most horrific vile language and behaviors most outrageous um, behaviors that he displays for the world to see the entire world to see America is global that's what it is, right? Especially music. Music is global. But the thing is, you can lean into the culture while being yourself. There are plenty of biracial people in all genres of music who don't get hit for it. And there are plenty of black men, darker skinned men who do rap, who um, do um, put out their albums and rap music, but they are still in stable relationships. They are not overly, again, we're not, we can get into the content of hip hop music overall me personally there's a lot of things wrong with the music you know it's really anti-black anti-black men anti-black women it promotes violence there's a lot of that i'm not negating that there's a conversation for a different video but for this specific video it's like it's okay for you to be a guy oh i'm a guy from canada and i'm ju i just happen to be a good rapper i make good music and the people enjoy it and they bop to it and this is what i dress like this is what i look like this is what i sound like and it's fine like drake is the perfect example of what happens when a corny loser gets money you know the nerd that was in school so 
starts making money and think, oh, I can do this, I can do that. And then when you have people um, who are invested financially into them, um, protecting them, they start feeling invincible. They start feeling like they can't do it, nothing can happen to me until something happens to them, which is what he's saying. He was so arrogant, even up to now, honestly. He's still arrogant, posting meme, posting quotes, posting movie, you know, scenes. And it's like, he still doesn't get it. And I don't think he ever will until he's in, like, under the jail. They've begun. A lot of things are starting to come out that we weren't privy to, and some we were privy to. But I think that's just what happens when a corny loser gets money and when, you know, and I think Kendrick Lamar was the perfect person to be able to execute this of saying, hey, I'm telling you, a lot of people have for years I've been telling you guys, Drake is not who he says he is. And, you know, it's like, okay, fine, we know he, right. me, one, I'm one of the people who don't think you have to write, write your raps, okay? I don't believe that if you didn't write it, it's not a good, if it's a bop, it's a bop. But now I can see and understand more. Kendrick has given more clarity as to what it means to be a good rap artist. Not just a good rap artist. I think he's a good artist overall. And he just happens to be great at rapping and storytelling and everything else. I think he really has... Sh I, I mean, I, you know, I've always known that, you know, rap music is supposed to be good storytelling. But I feel like, oh, no, I... Get, oh wow my eyes have been open you know oh i get it now i see it oh okay that 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 that's it so anyway you guys so this was it for this video i could do like a breakdown of the video uh, of the songs um line by line um i i've been trying to go live but i just haven't had time to go live but be sure you let me know your thoughts what do you think what was this crucial mistake do you think kendrick lamar won or did he lose or what do you think about what kendrick lamar said in the current situation that's developing i guess i should say around drake and the character aubrey and the character that he plays as drake in the music industry and is it really that deep or am i tripping anyway i will talk to you guys later bye, -bye.